Jeff here from Smart Deploy to cover using group policy to install the Smart Deploy client. Our customers have been asking for additional IT management capabilities like pushing applications and updating drivers for their systems, and we're delivering on that. These features do, however, require a client, but you don't need to worry. It's very small and there's no performance hit for your end users. And while it is a very easy installation to run manually, we're here because we want it done automatically. I'll step you through creating the GPO to install the client and show you what it's going to look like when it's done. And with my intro out of the way, pitter patter, let's get at her. So what we're looking at here is my little virtual environment where I have my domain controller with Smart Deploy installed on the left and on the right I have my one client. To give you an idea of what we're looking at here, I created an employee PCs OU with our one client inside. And I want to target this OU with my group policy object so that I can, you know, I want, what I want is any computers a part of this OU will get the client installed automatically. So the first thing to do is return to our Smart Deploy console and click Add Devices and then the Generate Client Setup tile. It's going to automatically populate the server name field with the name of our host wherever Smart Deploy is installed. And the Smart Deploy client will use that to find the host and register itself in the computer management workspace. So we'll click Browse and choose a place to save it. I have the swap folder in C, and I've already created a share here, so I'm going to save it here. And we'll, the, our end user or computers will access this MSI through the share. Click OK, and our MSI is ready to go. So next, we're going to pop over to the group policy management workspace, or the console, I should say. And we'll expand domains. And we have our smart deploy.local domain and the employee PCs OU that I talked about. I want to target this OU. So I'll right click employee PCs and click create a GPO in this domain and link it here. We'll give it a name like smart deploy client. That'll work and click OK. And once it's done, we can click edit to add the configuration we want in this group policy object. Once we're in the management editor, under computer configuration, we're going to expand policies, expand software settings, and select software installation. We'll right click that, new, package. Now we're going to enter the share name of the, uh, the share that we saved the MSI in. And mine is in GPO demo PDC swap. And we'll select SDE client setup and click open. Now, I'm going to go into Advanced here and click OK. And we can take a look at some of the options here. There are a lot of options for when you, or this method of installation that we don't really need to worry about. But we have the name and some information on the product. We're going to go to the Deployment tab. And I want to install this application at Logon. Now, that's all we really need to do here. There are other stuff, depending on what your application needs, that you can configure here. But with us, with our little client package, that's it. We'll click OK and we're ready to go. And so the next time a, a client it, that's a part of this OU boots, it will get this group policy set and it will install the client. And we can kind of force that to happen. Since we don't want to wait, we can do a little test here. We'll go GP update force, and then we can see right away if this is going to work for us rather than just reboot and cross our fingers. So we're going to force a, an update of the group policy and here we get a, a message that says hey there's an installation was unable to apply essentially you we have to restart so let's go ahead and click restart now and i will speed this portion of the video up so we don't have to wait okay so we're back at the logon screen let's pop over to our smart deploy console and go to the computer management workspace We'll click all computers and our client hasn't shown up yet so let's log on as we were the end user just getting ready to start our day or maybe they had to reboot for some other reason the client's going to get installed and then it's going to come back and talk to our smart play console now this polling interval is about 90 seconds <clears throat> so if you were to install this manually that's about how long that you would want to to wait before you went and start digging in to see why it's not there. So now that we're at the desktop, our client should appear. Oh, I was going to say any second, but here we are. So now we have our client. 
present in our computer management workspace and we're ready to do all of those cool smart deploy features. We can right click this and I can deploy an image, I can deploy an application or update drivers and, uh, and see some other information about that client. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about this process, you can leave a comment here. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.